the teachers or the host parents, they wouldn't use sign language to the students. And if they misunderstood, if the students misunderstood, they would slap them and they would shake them. We were spanked. We were put in a closet and, and you know, the door was closed and we were locked in the closet and we felt like we couldn't breathe. Somebody behind me was fondling me and touching me and I couldn't move. These individuals didn't have a proper childhood. And then they get into adulthood and they were left out in the world with nothing. It's, it's a childhood lost, it's a life lost. And now they're through this process trying to recover some of that and to recover some dignity from the, the dignity that was deprived through their education and the abuse that took place at the schools. They would force us to have sex. And then afterwards they'd say, if you tell your parents, you're, we'll shoot your parents, your parents will die. And so we, we didn't want to tell anybody because we thought our parents would be harmed. I, I can't forget what's happened to me over the years. It's um, like I've been scarred. The, the, the sexual abuse has really, really been troubling for me. I hate to be touched. Like I don't want anyone to touch me. It frightens me when somebody starts to, you know, get affectionate with me or touch me. One. One. Woo! All right, okay. The education there, mm, I can say that I learned maybe from my deaf friends more than anything. We learned from each other. We did not learn from the uh, teachers. Trying to find work is, is very frustrating. They, you know, you have to have certain uh, requirements and we weren't taught those in school. We didn't have life skills. We didn't have a lot of social skills and we're just thrown out in the world and then it's like, what in the hell am I gonna do now? I was embarrassed to realize, you know, here I'm setting up my own business, my own company, and I have a grade six level education. I was embarrassed. We're going to be going to a trial probably in 2021. We're headed in that direction. But I think it's very important for those principles, those underlying pillars of bringing this case forward, that we don't engage in a further display in a courtroom of what had happened to people. For students to have to come forward and talk about what had happened to them, and then to be challenged under cross-examination about when they were sexually abused and whether it was when they were 9, 10, or 11 and challenging them on that age. This is the stuff that, that must be avoided. Thank you.